breaking news. Police say they've arrested the man who attacked seven Asian women on the same night. And tonight we are learning new details about the suspect. Good evening, I'm Maurice Dubois. And I'm Christine Johnson. Police say the suspect assaulted the women, hitting them in the face. CBS 2's Jenna DeAngelis live at the Midtown South Precinct Station House with the breaking details tonight. Jenna. Maurice and Christine, that man is facing hate crimes charges after police say he attacked seven Asian women in the span of two hours. A short time ago, he was walked out of the Midtown, Midtown South Precinct here. You can see in video, that's 28-year-old Steven Zajonk. He exited silently with his head down. He was taken into police custody today following a string of attacks targeting Asian women Sunday night. Police say seven women were targeted in different incidents from about 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. Police say the women range in age from 19 to 57 years old. We're told no words were spoken and they were punched or elbowed in the face. The victims mainly suffered a swollen face and cut lip. However, one woman was treated at the hospital. This map shows where the attacks happened, stretching from Madison and East 30th Street to East Houston and Mott Streets. Now, we're told that man made no statements to police, so the motive is not clear. And we're told he has no prior arrest history here in New York City. He's believed to be homeless here in New York with an address in Florida. We're live in Midtown. Jenna DeAngelis, CBS 2 News. Jenna, thank you. All right, before I get started with this story, let me give a shout out to one of my subscribers on here. And I think this is the first time I've ever seen him uh, give me a story. Uh, his name is, or their name, is Priest Bach Me, and I hope I'm pronouncing their name correctly. And this story just came out. It's actually I'm actually recording this on March 3rd, 2022. And you want to know the irony of this is, I just did a triple P about a Asian cop in New York, works for the NYPD who filed hate crime charges against this black man by the name of Terrell Cooper because he said some slurs to him or something that they he would constitute as a hate crime. But it was tossed out by the judge because they said, while this is indeed some slurs that he used, it technically can't go through because we will be violating his First Amendment rights. Now, with this guy right here, that would not apply because... They said they don't know if there was any words said, but we do know that there was physical altercation. This guy physically attacked seven Asian women in the span of an hour. Or was it two hours? I can't remember. They said an hour or two hours, but it happened all in one night. We do know that. How does one manage to do that? Like this, they said this guy just walked up to random Asian women and hit them or elbowed them. That's crazy. And as you can look at this guy, you can clearly see that he is very much PC. But if you if you look through a lot of the pictures that I saw of him, he is either surveillance footage or as it is in this picture right here. He has his head down like he's trying to shy away from the imagery. Well, not the imagery, but the uh, cameras that are clearly focused in on him to try to make his face not be so much known. But they already put his name out there. So it's not like he's uh completely uh, uh in a secret space he's not completely isolated as a matter of fact i had to go and look up his name because i didn't catch it in the audio what his last name but they said his name is steven zajonk spelled z-a-g-o-n-c see now these hate crimes that now a hate crime charge can actually stick seven counts of a hate crime charge could definitely stick because he did not attack anybody else who was not Asian. He specifically targeted Asian women to attack. Now, let's take it back to last year. Around this time, as a matter of fact, it was a little later in the month, last year, when you had this PC man, his name escapes me, who was in Georgia, who went and committed those shootings at those Asian quote-unquote parlors quote unquote I put those in air quotes because we know if you know you know and went and shot up these parlors and a few of those individuals in that post in those parlors ended up dead and I don't even know what happened to the guy they said he went with the three of them and he was a PC man now what is interesting to me is that that was right around the time when they started to implement the anti-Asian hate crime bill it was right around that time and 
when Asians were getting attacked, it was mainly people who looked like the one you see in this picture and the one down in Georgia who did what he did at those parlors. But they kept harping on or kept trying to propagandize and push out this narrative that it was black people that were doing these attacks, such as your Michelle Malkins and your Juju Changs and your Miami Park, I mean, Yami Parks and so on and so forth. And again, notice the common theme. Those were Asian women who were saying that about black people probably more in particular black males who were attacking asians but they didn't say anything about these pc men who were doing just that in which they were accusing us of but it doesn't surprise me especially about michelle malcolm because this chick right here literally is hanging off the nut sack of dirty dick danny aka danny holtzclaw the guy who was responsible for uh, sexually assaulting and raping 13 black females who ranged in different ages and she's up there trying to uh not even trying but she is throwing the cape on for this uh for this uh as far as i'm concerned domestic terrorist who did what he did and who got the proper sentencing I still think that he has one of the most iconic sentencings of all time, not because of the length of his sentence, but the fact that it happened on his birthday. In case y'all did not know, Dirty Dick Danny, when he got sentenced for the crimes in which he committed, it happened on his birthday. Imagine sitting in front of a judge on your birthday when you could have been out celebrating and having fun with family and friends, but you in a courtroom being sentenced for a, for a huge level of crimes, all felonies, by the way to 200 plus years that's not the first or the last thing you would want to hear on your birthday but that's what he heard and that still puts a smile on my face and it still makes me smile to this day knowing that he's still behind bars and that michelle malkin is still walking around like a dusty footed hyena trying to get this man off or get this man out i should say because i wouldn't be surprised if she's giving him a few conjugal visits as much as she continues to go to that jail but yeah back to him <laughs> What can I say? It has happened yet again. What will the Asian American community, the AAPI, what are they going to say about this, if anything at all? Or are they going to harp on the Terrell Harper thing in which he did not physically touch or assault that cop in which brought those hate crime charges against him that got dropped? All he did was say some things, and even the judge acknowledged what he said with some slurs, but he couldn't do anything because it would have violated his civil, I mean, not his civil rights, his First Amendment rights. But this guy, he's not going, it's not going to be as easy because he actually physically harmed individuals and did it in one night within the span of an hour to two hours. And he, those were, they, those were targeted attacks because he didn't hit, he didn't touch any other group. He didn't touch white women he didn't touch black women he didn't touch native american women arab hispanic or whatever and he's in new york and that you know new york is a melting pot of different cultures and ethnicities and nationalities so yeah and i thought what was also interesting is they said that he's listed as homeless in new york but he has an address in florida so are they saying that he actually has a home to go to in florida but he's just choosing to be a bum in New York, it, it, that's wild. Like, imagine you coming from home just to come up to New York to be that stupid. But I guess. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe if you are new. Make sure you hit that bell to be notified every time I upload a new video or go live.